Number 14, next is the lost cost bias um, or, or fallacy we make um, with ourselves when we're trying to reason through something. This is when you've made uh, an investment in something and it doesn't look like it's going to work out. It hurts to let that go. If you've got time, money, uh, emotions invested in something, you will delay um, the cut, cutting your losses longer because of this bias. This is um, equally uh, applicable to um, poor investments. Let's say you, you invested in something and uh, the, 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 the market dropped out and it's just you're losing money, losing money, losing money. At, some, at what point do you cut your losses and uh, leave? And a lot of people hang in there longer than they should have because they have a loss cost uh, bias. Uh, this is a natural inclination when you uh, inclination that humans have because when you've invested a lot into something, uh, it, it's hard to let it go. Um, you got to be aware of that. This could be, like I said, it could go from uh, money investment to um, here's a common one: you you pay six bucks, you buy some popcorn, you go to see a movie. Um, this is a common example given. Twenty minutes in a movie, you're like this is the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. But you'll stay and watch the whole thing because you paid for it. You know, you may as well leave because you, you paid the six bucks for the ticket. You're not getting that back either way. Uh, but if you decide the movie is terrible, you could just leave and go do something else with that time. Right? Uh, the money thing is, 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 is important, but it's not as important as your time. You've got a finite, finite amount of time uh, from when you're born to when you die. And you've got to determine how to spend that. And a lot of us waste way too much time with things just because we've invested or we thought this would work out. Uh, it's very difficult to kind of cut uh, and move on. Um, you go back to one of the earlier video or earlier uh, portions of this video or earlier video where we talked about that spotlight um, or uh, spotlight bias where you also think that if you cut your losses uh, and make a practical, rational decision and cut your losses that other people are going to judge you uh, for that. Call you, you know, um, was that uh, quitters never win and winners never quit, uh, that kind of thing, or, or people that are overly invested. You ever see the coach that uh, talks to kids at Little League and says, uh, you know, you don't want to be a quitter, don't quit. Uh, that person is stuck in a lost cost bias. Why would a kid continue to play uh, little League season after season if he's not enjoying it. That just seems that seems dumb. Seems like a waste of time. Um, obviously give something a fair go. You can't say, well I'm gonna I'm gonna open a I'm gonna open a donut shop and I'm gonna be a, a, a baker and I'm gonna get rich selling donuts. So I invest all that money, uh, I get all the equipment, I open the donut stand, I do all the advertising and on the first day I sell a dozen donuts. I'm like well that's it. I quit. That didn't work. Uh, that's not the same thing. That's that's quitting too early. But if I sell um, only a dozen donuts a day for six years, and I've I've sold my house, I've mortgaged my second house with a triple mortgage, to keep the donut shop open. Might be time to rethink your aspirations as the world's greatest donut maker and just move on. Um, don't be afraid to do that. Balance out the lost cost. Try to step back and um, find points of reference that you can make rational decisions for these things. Um, keep the emotion out of it. I know that's difficult for things like investments in relationships when it comes to uh, divorce or ending a relationship that's just not working. Uh, you'll find a lot of times that, that some couples uh, stay together and cause more uh, longer lasting harm and more harm to themselves and their children uh, than taking an honest look despite the hurt feelings and the lost cost bias that, you know, this is just not working. Maybe we should end this uh, as amicably as possible. Um, but, you know, you, that's, uh, that's something you don't see very often. This is called the lost cost bias uh, or the, the sunken investment uh, fallacy. Don't be afraid to stop something or, or, or cut your losses uh, before it goes on too far, just because you feel like you shouldn't because you, you've invested. Uh, try to stay aware of that uh, with your investments, especially of your personal time, um, your money and your emotions as well, but your time especially because you only got so much of that.